No, I'm pouring my coffee. Number one. Celebrity yes. X. Well, as consumers often say, when I do a consumer coffee tasting, hey, it smells like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. And uh, it smells like a pretty uh, balanced, uh, pleasant. Yeah. It's not dark roasted. It's not light roasted. It has a nice, the roast is handled well. It's a nice balance. Mm. Yeah, fragrance is nice. This sounds mystical, but it has a lot of depth. It doesn't have a lot of exciting aromatic notes, but they have a kind of a depth and resonance. Agreed. It's not, there's nothing eccentric smelling about it. It has a very classic. So, uh, the usual, some caramel, some chocolate. I'm getting some mid-toned floral notes, like I'd associate with rose, maybe. A little bit of peach, perhaps, or apricot, some kind of stone fruit. That's all uh, typical notes for a really good washed or wet processed uh, coffee. It could be a single origin from Latin America, from Colombia, or it could be a, a uh, blend. But I don't get any exotic notes. It doesn't seem to have any, could have some Ethiopia in it, because that would, uh, it would give it that sort of uh, nice, it would be a wet processed or washed Ethiopia if it has an Ethiopia. Of course, we'll never know, I guess. I think the celebrity that is backing this coffee or offering this coffee or supporting it or, uh, is somebody with some poise and elegance and uh, worldliness. I mean, if I had to associate, I mean, you yeah. know. I'm, we're just talking, right? <laughs> yeah, no, that's so, that's in, you. Mean, you just made the reason I'm quiet, which is uncustomary for me, is is because I'm I'm thinking about that. That's an that's a kind of a, a interesting statement you just made. Yeah, of course, that's what you would want. The, you would want a representative of your yeah. If the uh, of course the roaster company that roasted this, the, the representative of that company, the coffee expert for that company might uh, recommend this coffee on some basis like that or may just ha want to have a coffee that everybody will have a chance to like and nobody will be offended by it. I think I would like to add that as the, the idea that would I be happy if someone came out with a coffee that had my name on it and this coffee i would yeah this would be a nice i'd be very proud of it i wouldn't be proud of it i'd be satisfied or satisfied i, I would okay. feel that i was uh, <laughs> avoiding a criticism excessive criticism or humiliation certainly pleasant at the acidity the the um, bite of the coffee is a little bit on the bitter side. It may smooth out as it cools, but right now it strikes me as a little too sharp and bitter. This is what we call, what I call the structure of the coffee as opposed to the aromatics that we were talking about first. I think the mouthfeel is about standard mouthfeel, smooth, not particularly heavy, not particularly light. And the structure is a little too, to me, leaning too much on the bitter side. But not, but not due to roast, because it sure doesn't taste dark roasted at all. Is that roast, well, Ken, or is it? For my coffee, I think I'd want to lighten the roast a little. A coffee like this, where you're trying to please a whole swath of the market, you usually want uh, not too sharp or bitterish in acidity. So you want to bring out the caramel notes in the roast more than, uh, and uh, I'm thinking that if I were the person roasting or directing the roaster, I'd say, you know, ease off on the roast just a little bit. But a lot of complex variables involved, so 
So for you, it's fine, huh? This uh, kind of bitterish edge. Yeah, I would say I'm okay with it. It's it's certainly there's nothing that's too t o o about it. If anything, it's in that regard, it's a little bland. You know, meaning it's not. There's nothing, no exceptional. I wouldn't unusual. say it's bland. I think it's balanced, satisfying. Balanced, yeah. Aside well, from balanced. this uh, edge, smooths out in the finish, right? Yeah, and, and as it's cooler, I'm getting I'm yeah. getting less of the edge. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. In the finish, you get a nice kind of round, caramelly sweetness. It's still a little dry, but some people like that. I think it would take milk fairly well without fading away might fade a little bit under the impact of those milks i mean it must be hard for uh, somebody who's trying to do a coffee to please everyone right. i've uh, finished my observations okay and i've just about finished the coffee so i must have liked it okay <laughs> the um <laughs> uh am i ready for the exposure here? yeah yeah the uh, reveal. Is, the reveal. You're yeah, the reveal. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Exposure. I, yeah. My, my yellow, yellow journalism okay. background yeah. is coming back. At my <laughs> age, I'm not ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for exposure. <laughs> okay. I'm, I hope the celebrity <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I think it's, it's, it's not bad. Actually, this is a cup of Ralph's. This is Ralph Lawrence coffee. I've never had it before either. The designer oh. of many things, and yeah, X, X is expertly roasted in the U.S. Bold and delicious. I think the bold would be that edge, maybe. It is, however, interesting. It doesn't say it on the front cover. It says medium dark, by the way. I'm a, I, I actually would consider this a medium, yeah, more than medium dark. But anyway, yeah. If I happen to know a little more about it, I believe this is roasted by La Colombe, which means Todd Carmichael. And so there's it's kind of, a, in that way, I kind of consider it a dual celebrity and uh -huh. uh, since he had his own series well, I think and everything. it fits Ralph Lauren in, in a, a sort of uh, elegant but accessible, right? Mm -hmm. and very that, much that so, that yeah. Sounds like yeah. A, yeah. Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I wrote for his publicist 20 years ago. <laughs> right. So good. Good, Ralph. Good. Uh, who is the roaster? La Colombe? Uh, is it Todd C Carmichael and La Colombe? Uh -huh. Yeah. Good. And uh, so it's roasted Good. in Philly. Good job. So it's. Uh, yeah. Does yeah. it say anything about uh, where the beans come from? Well, I know a little bit about not on the package itself. It's definitely claimed to be a. What do they say? It's a Central and South America, Central South America and Africa. Well, that gives them a pretty good yeah. array well, it's of it's probably. Uh, sources. Uh, yeah, well, they can switch out the coffees as seasonally. Sure. I would say mainly Colombia and uh, Ethiopia washed, a little bit of Ethiopia washed, Colombia, and then maybe some Honduras coffee oh. to kind of uh, balance out, you know, lighten up the heaviness of the Colombia. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a nice... Well, it's all around a success. I mean, yeah. it's a fresh coffee. It's a solid coffee that has a good chance of pleasing almost anybody including me i would drink it in the morning fine yeah take take the edge off that roast just a little bit for me but other than that i think it's a big success <laughs>